Just like that. Look, y'all be down there twerking y'all ass off. I be reading the comments from before the live start, right? Fayola, you down there twerking your ass off. I agree with you with what you said, but I can't put it on the screen because you're trying to get me flagged. But make no mistake about it, girl. I agree with you, okay? What's going on, everybody? And unfortunately, right, that's her name. That's not the beginning of a sentence. Pull up. Unfortunately, I appreciate the flowers that you gave our panel. Thank you for noticing that nothing has ever changed. We already put motherfuckers neck in the dirt, and I appreciate that shit. Thanks for the super chat, Mimosa, and thank you for the super chat, Miss Raven Beauty. Now, happy Friday, motherfucker. Pull up. Ladies, this is the deal, all right? I am... Um, all you got to do is wait, okay? All you have to do is wait. Every single time, it turns into bullshit. Ladies, again, let me repeat to you. Please, quit looking at these nigga bitches and they got damn relationships and thinking they're somehow relationship goals. You keep letting these women give y'all hope that maybe just maybe my baby's gonna look like me they're gonna be melanated let me just keep searching and searching and searching and searching and going through all this foolishness with niggas only to fuck around and find out ladies how many examples do you need seriously how many examples do you need of 
a black woman and a black man sharing a social media post, right? And they have a platform and everything looks good. They post everything about all their wonderful life and then shit gets real, right? He cheats, beats, all types of stuff. Transfer STI, stealing money, not pulling his in. And then all of a sudden, you know, we still here for you, girl. If you're still here for her, let me ask you this. Why the fuck when y'all see these women getting these relationships with these nakers, y'all don't be like, oh, <laughs> you probably shouldn't do that shit. There are endless amounts of examples to show y'all. I'm just going to show you the most recent, but make no mistake about it. You will see more coming down the pipe because what motherfuckers don't understand that fat meat is greasy. It's, he's always different. He's a better naker than the last 350 nakers that you don't laid your eyes on in public and on social media. So let's go. Who this? I'm looking at that chat. I'm looking at the chat. Who this? Okay. Very popular person. Look, Lady J, it might turn into smoke night. Pull up. It might. Because this is the thing. What's going on, y'all? This girl is gorgeous. Who want to fight me about it? Who want to fight me about it? She's on TikTok. Yes, ma'am. Me smile. She is. She's on every social media platform there is. TikTok, Facebook, uh, Instagram. You name it. She's there. This is a hairdresser cosmetologist and influencer by the name of queen leora gorgeous girl deserves way more than what she's given herself very successful millions of views on on tiktok and all that good shit i mean for people that want to be an influencer she's made it gorgeous girl now what Hold the goddamn phone. I'm so tired of y'all. I don't know what to do. This what you do. This, this, this who gonna make you make you settle down and believe that a nigga. What? <laughs> Listen, don't ever talk to me. Don't. If you consider this, even if you just a cashier at Walmart, you should be walking away from a motherfucker like this. Are you serious? But you're a successful influencer. The thing that Every young black girl wants to be because nobody, I haven't heard it probably since the early 2000s, a young black girl saying she wants to be a doctor, lawyer, any of that good shit. You know what I'm talking about. Engineer, whatever. Astronaut. Fuck it. Right. They all want to be influencers. Well, she made it. And this is her prize. I need you to take a look at this shit because y'all be shortchanging y'all self. I honestly think that y'all seriously. You convince yourself that these niggas are attractive. And I bet you might be asking, well, what does he do for money? Well, he hangs on her tit, number one, but he's a failed rapper. I, how do you say his name? It's Dada 1K. <laughs> Dada 1K. Mm -hmm. D-A-D-A 1K. Literally. I ain't never heard of him until he fucked over homegirl. Hey. I hope you get your heart together and I hope you pick up the pieces. This ain't the first time he done fucked you over. Y'all done broke up before and you took him back. Let's go, y'all. This was the good old days right here. Never knew a love like this. Look, I can't with the tarantula head. I can't. I can't. I can't with the melanation. I can't with the African American. I can't do it. I don't know what y'all see, but go off. Okay, let's keep going. Two things I own. I own. I O N. Two things I don't play about is my nigga and my paper. Ladies, listen. Y'all too grown for this. Y'all too grown for this. When do you grow up enough to stop shooting a bird at the camera? When do you grow up enough to know that niggas like this ain't worth a fuck? Huh? This is what y'all doing? See, this is why I don't feel sorry for motherfuckers. I really don't. When you get with a nigga like this, a nigga period. But let's just take him for example. You're asking for it, ma'am. You like, when are you going to cheat on me, whoop my ass, and leave me with a baby? When you going to do that? I'm waiting. Let's go. This is a problem for me, okay? Why do y'all like taking pictures 
in the spirit of toxic couples. Look, I mean, why why take a picture of that shit? Remember homegirl that was the mermaid? She and her naker, they dressed up as Bobby and Whitney. Ladies, this is the joker and, you know, his bitch, right? The relationship is toxic as fuck. Um, she left her job as a psychologist to go be a criminal with him. That's the basis of that DC comic. This spoke volumes to me, okay? Um, Aaliyah, what you got so far? Because we fixing to get real, real jiggy tonight. Well, I don't have a whole lot right now. I'll be cutting up in a minute, I'm sure. Because I'm sure you got a, <laughs> it, that you're going somewhere with this. I can sense it already. But the thing is, I had no idea who this chick was. But then again, I'm not on all these different social media platforms like that. I really don't like social media like that. So I don't follow all these different people. So I had no idea who she was or what her platform was supposed to be about or any of that. But I'll continue. let you continue. All right, let me pick somebody else. Mrs. Rogue, you got anything? Because I'm getting ready to get stupid up here. Uh, I don't know who these people are either, but I'm just trying to figure out. I just want to know, why the fuck is she dating somebody that looks like a human Venus flytrap? I, I'm confused. Listen, until y'all get fucked up, I don't know who you are either. I had no idea who a Queen Leora was until things fell apart. Right? Snapple, what you got? I don't know her either, child. But... <laughs> I love this shit. I love this shit. Um, <laughs> happy Friday. Happy Friday. Um, it's the, the tattoo on her hand. Like, she's cute and everything. You know, I see the little adult hair is popping, but she's still cute. With, but the tattoo on her hand threw me a little bit. Let me know she was a little gutter snipe. And then this thing that she's with, with the hot Cheetos on his head, and he's, he's just ashy. And um, I'm not surprised, though, because this is what they choose to be with. And that they have the audacity to try to pick apart any time a Black woman gets with a, a white man or a man that's not Black, and they will go in on his looks, his style, his demeanor, but then they're running around with these critters, and that's all fine. That's what's up. Uh, Ebony, I know you don't know who these people are. I'm not even going to fuck with you about that. Kyra, what you got before Har I go in? Harpa, who this woman? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, DZ. Hey, ladies. I hey. have no idea who she is. But remember, I did say that burgundy color that we see on hood rats. I guess now both hood rats and hood rat niggas. It's a sign of danger. Like, you already know when you see that burgundy red on a chick or a dude's head, it's about to be some real dangerous fuck shit. That part. Y'all, it gets very interesting. Okay? And I love I love hearing that y'all didn't know who she was either because that let me know that y'all don't be rolling around in dookie traps. Pull up. I love that shit. I didn't know who she was either until stuff went left. Okay? Um... So she gives them a baby. Love so strong we created our own heartbeat. 32 weeks down, eight to go. Now you done fucked up. You fucked up when you first got with them. But now you done really fucked up. You are trapped, ma'am. It is what it is. How many times? This is 2024. It literally is 2024. Do y'all know that old cartoon, The Jetsons? Let me tell you how stupid this is. The Jetsons was a cartoon made in the 60s, and they were making it like it was the year 2000. Cars was flying and everything. The Jetsons was about the year 2000. We are in 2024, and you still falling for stuff that was happening back in the 1600s with these niggas. I can't. You, you can't. You can't. Okay. All the support, all these posts. Ladies, this is her baby shower. I mean, just people everywhere. Y'all better stay away from these posts and stop comparing your goddamn lives to these people. You better stop it because they only post their highlight reels. I'm trying to tell you something. You better get with the fucking program. They don't show you when they cutting the food, but this time they did. So let's keep going. Okay. Now we got the thun. Y'all have seen this story a billion times. It doesn't matter whether it's Queen Lior. It's happened with so many women, rich, poor, educated, ignorant, skinny, fat, dark skin, light skin. It don't matter. All of y'all are falling for the same fucking shit over and over again. 
what could go wrong? What could go wrong? Well, let me show you what went wrong, all right? Hold your goddamn panties or whatever the hell you got on. Let's go! Getting back here. Like, look at, look at my house. You feel me? Look at my house. Look at this. Look at this. I'm in this white ass neighborhood. Look at this. You feel me? The nigga driving on. Fuck you, ho. You know, a nigga that I gave my everything to. A nigga that I, you know what I'm saying? You can give your last to a nigga. I carried his child for 10 months. You feel me? You can almost die having a nigga chin. He won't care. You can do everything for a nigga. He won't care. And I don't give no fuck how somebody look at this shit. Because if somebody listening that's, that is touching them. It's touching them. And this is a part of my spiritual journey. It ain't shit to be sorry about. It ain't shit to be sad about. Because I'm still standing on 10. I'm still a real ass bitch. And I dare hold to say something else. I dare ho. I'm talking about I dare ho. His mama, his sister, his cousins, I dare ho. Because I'm keeping it 1,000 right here. I'm keeping it 1,000. I'm keeping it 1,000. Wow. You feel me? Sometimes we feel like we just got to make shit work. Sometimes we feel, I just, I'm an empathetic ass person, bro. I'll sit there and I'll see somebody going through something and I'll never put them through some shit. Because I know how it feel to be alone. I know how it feel. People may look and be like, you got all this support, Leor. People love you. God gave me that because I really didn't have nobody but my mama. God gave me that. My dad left everybody. You feel me? I got brothers and sisters. Don't even fuck with me. Don't even know I had a baby. Don't know me. Don't know me. You feel me? It's deeper than a baby daddy. It's deeper than a nigga. It's about me right here. And I got to get on here and tell y'all this. Because I'm not a hundred percent because I let a nigga fuck me up. You feel me? I let a nigga fuck me up that ain't should have never had the power to do that. Cause I do this shit. I stand on 10. I do this shit. <sighs> Woo! I'm telling you, baby, my head up. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I know they're going to screen record. They're going to post it. I don't give a fuck. I yep. promise you I don't. Sure I got to get on here and speak my motherfucking piece. I got to get on here and let bitches know don't hide your emotions. Don't hide nothing. Stand on 10. If you feel like somebody got you fucked up, they got you fucked up. Leave them where they got you fucked up at. I don't give a fuck. Holes left. Now, here's my thing. They always sound and say stuff that we always say once they get their heart broke. No nigga should have the power to take over your life and get in your head like that. You feel me? Sitting up there sounding like Tupac. Ladies, stop this shit immediately. This is ridiculous. You know my only concern because I'm very, very, very protective of my surroundings. You and these white folks' neighborhood, that's what she said. You and these white folks' neighborhood, Shit all in the yard, clothes all in the yard, toys all in the yard, and he pulling off talking about fuck you, ho. Listen, baby, don't act surprised. Please don't. This is ridiculous, ladies, and I promise you this is not the last influencer, the last anybody, last celebrity or whoever that you're going to see that's a black woman that sit up here and pretend like she found a motherfucking unicorn. Pull up on me. What you got, Aaliyah? Okay. So when I did find her Instagram, what I found what was most interesting was the video that she put up after she took this one down, apparently, because that was the one that was in response to the comments that was made to this video, apparently. So that was the one that ruled me the wrong way. And so looking at this now, I will say this. Women like her make it damn near impossible to have an ounce of sympathy for them. And see, mm -hmm. this is why I avoid the majority of black women now. All that false bravado. I'm just not impressed with it because these are the types that are usually always somewhere bucking at other women and all this talking like a nigga, clapping hands and yoking your neck all while talking. I've known women like her my whole life. This, let me get you together right quick. 
let me gather these bitches like a ponytail and all that other bullshit. Meanwhile, that nigga dog walking your ass and got you crying and blowing snot all over social media. <laughs> so where is all this snap back and clap back for that nigga that just dogged you? That's why I don't take them seriously. Those, I'm a boss bitch. I'm in my bag. I'm about my bread. I get money and all this shit. Nothing but big talk. That's all it is. And for people who don't know any better, they're sitting at home going, period. See, I can't stand that goofy ass shit. That period poo bullshit they be saying. I can't do it. See, let me know when that nigga take you off that leash he got you on while you're doing all that barking like a fucking mangy chihuahua. See, black women gonna learn that nobody wants to listen to this bullshit all day and night. Not even other black women. I know I sure as hell don't. All this clownery and buffoonery must stop because I walked away from a chick the other day in mid sentence. As soon as she started goddamn yapping, I got the hell on because I don't want to hear that shit. These women don't know what the fuck bossing up really means. I'll tell y'all one day, but it won't be today. I will say this it doesn't include having a camera in your face, making a damn fool of yourself, and then coming back later on to curse people out after you realize how dumb you looked and start trying to drag what you assume to be other people's situations that consists of scenarios that you may up to try to shame somebody else because you got online and embarrassed yourself. The difference is you aired your shit publicly. Those women in your audience and in your comment section did not. And I can't stand it when bitches do that. You really weaken your argument when you can't even be woman enough to admit that you had a weak moment without trying to save face through attacking the women in your audience who are only responding to the shit that you posted. That shit is whack to me. It always has been and it always will be. That's why I follow no one on social media outside of this woman's channel that I'm sitting on right now. Stop inviting people into your business and then trying to regulate what and how people respond to what you post. And then, you know, and when that doesn't work, you just get mad and curse everybody out who has something other than good things to say. Not everybody's going to have sympathy or empathy for you because like I said before, a lot of these hoes have let this social media shit go to their heads. They get they get social media influence confused with celebrity and fame. And a lot of them just want you to kiss their funky asses all the time and they don't play that game at all. Listen, you're going to see her hypocritical behavior at the end. Y'all know how I always come through with the receipts. Y'all don't do this. Black women that look up to characters like this, they, they they worry me because it doesn't go anywhere. Some of y'all favorites having to cough up $4 million to preferences and all types of shit. This ain't the way to do. A real boss bitch don't say much in her real life. I said a real boss bitch don't say nothing much in her real life. She moves in silence. Before you know it, she's all the way on the other side of the room and you ain't finished your motherfucking sentence. Pull up. What's going on, Mr. Shrove? Well, hey, Chloe, I'll... I see you back there, babe. I'm coming. <laughs> well, all I have to say is, tell us all this time. Where have these mm. bitches been? Because this is what mm. the niggas been doing since the beginning of, I don't know, the fucking Big Bang Theory. Girl, you've seen this movie in your mother. You've seen it in your aunts. You've seen it in your community. You've seen it with your friends. You've seen it in your foremothers, your grandmothers, and the, probably the, in the goddamn spirit realm, your ancestors. This is nothing fucking new. I don't know why y'all do the same insane shit and expect a different result. I don't know why y'all make up 13% of the population, but 60% of girls report being touched. And then you make up 13% of the population, but 55.7% of them are ex-trafficked. And then you make up 13% of the population, but you make up 60% of the total crime rates in the United States of America. I say all that to say that what you were looking for, the math doesn't math and it does not compute in your favor. You knew what the fuck this was from the time you got with that nigga. You thought you'd be special. You thought he'd change. What is that old saying? The rain may beat the leopard, but you can't wash off his spots. These niggas are covered in spots, and probably because they herpes lesions or whatever, but you knew what the fuck this was. You already knew that you said you could die giving birth to a nigga baby, and he still treats you like shit because they don't value human life. They don't even value your life. Otherwise, they wouldn't put it in danger knowing damn well that there's a statistical probability that you're going to be on the other side in the upper room. So you did this to yourself. I am like you, Aaliyah, ladies. I avoid these women like the fucking plague. I don't need 
any of these bitches to be setting the precedent or the example for how black women are supposed to act. Most assuredly, not this black woman, because I maneuver with grace and poise. And I am I don't have to scream that I'm a boss, bitch. I'm just going to show you. So check it out, ladies. Uh, people responded. Right. And she caught an attitude. I mean, she really caught an attitude. Listen, um, like Aaliyah said, can you keep it off the Internet if you don't want anybody replying? I, I'm, I'm serious. It, it's ridiculous. Um, nobody's impressed with the fact that you had an issue with a nigga. Anybody that's dealing with a nigga has an issue with a nigga. Pull up. OK, let's go, y'all. This is funny. So I went live about my baby daddy yesterday, bitch, and it has sparked a whole discussion on social media. So I want to get into a couple of the topics that I fucking saw. Let's talk about the baby daddy and the baby mama culture. I know, I'm tired of it too, bitch. But y'all hoes that be running y'all mouth like, mm, should have been married first, wouldn't have been dealing with this. Y'all the same hoes that be at the baby shower eating all the rotel, the motherfucking meatballs, all that shit. Bitch, if that's how you feel, put my lemon pepper chicken down, ho. Miss, I'm gonna be married before I have a kid just so I can avoid these problems. I don't want no baby daddy. Ho, shut up, because if you ain't take that plan B a couple months ago, you would have been in the same boat as me, a baby mama. And then it's the bitches like, oh, why y'all care about her so much? Y'all ain't give a fuck when my baby daddy cheated on me and beat me in the head. You're right. We didn't give a fuck because we didn't know. You chose to go in that dingy ass apartment, cry under the covers and not tell no motherfucking body. Me, I'm going to go live about it. Then you got these dookie dread ass niggas making they posts talking about some, oh, she should have just been left him. That's y'all hoes problem. Y'all always want to stay. Y'all just need to leave and boss up. Baby, I been a boss. What about your mom? Because I clicked her Facebook page and it looks like she has five kids, five different baby daddies. And the nigga she with now got a three month old and they been together for five years. So how the fuck that work? Turn your pain into purpose. April 20th. Get the fuck out of here. No, she didn't. Ladies, this is another thing y'all got to stop doing. These bitches have a whole fucking catastrophe in front of your face and then going to advise you. No, you did not go live about you being cheated on and fucked over. And then you're going to go ahead and try to advise other people. By the way, ladies, she hasn't learned a goddamn thing. The event that she's holding, she's holding it with a black man. Pull up. Ladies, I cannot. I can't. I advise y'all to stop feeling sorry for these women. She, her next mate is going to be another black man. Pull up. If it's not the same black man, pull up. It is what it is. So when you get what you get, you get what you get. They trip me out with this nonsense. Mm -hmm. she, listen, y'all can tell somebody asked in the comments, where's the wig? Listen, this is how you know motherfuckers is depressed, right? Because a lot of times the communication, when you're talking to somebody, listen up, ladies. You got to listen to what they're saying, but watch what the fuck they're doing. That's a sign of depression and heartache. When you normally see somebody that's well put together, the wig gone, the makeup gone, the hoodies up, and she is clapping the fuck back like she didn't put this out here for people to comment on. What's going on, Mrs. Rogue? I just, I, I'm, I heard you call it. Yes, I did. I beseech you, Black women. At this point, God damn it, I'm about to hit Bend and Need a Bay. Get the fuck off social media and shut the fuck up. <laughs> it is not hard. If you didn't want people in your motherfucking business, keep it offline. I just hate that they even let you bitches have social media at all. I am angry at Jeff Bezos. I am angry at Mark Zuckerberg. I am angry at the YouTube zaddies because some of you bitches is over here and that's why we can't be over here frequently because you chap my ass cheeks. <laughs> Get the fuck offline. Your life is a goddamn train wreck inside of a hurricane, inside of a shit storm, 6,000 leagues under the motherfucking sea. Get offline. You're making us all look fucking terrible. Um, Chloe, are you dusty? Chloe, are you dusty? Okay. Chloe, Chloe disconnected her device. All right. Oh, she and... said she wasn't trying to come on stage. She was just listening. Oh, okay. Well, get in the YouTube chat. Pull up. Okay. What's happening, Snapple? Hey, so firstly, I did not expect her to sound like that. Like, she's just a whole catfish. Like, her, she sounds like, <laughs> she sound like a rapper. Like, the way she speaks and talks, it's like, oh, are you like, are you like a thug? Um, and two, in the very end of that video where she had the hoodie on, she said, turn your pain into purpose. First of all, no, bitch. Like Mr. Rogue and Aaliyah just said, do not take this idiot's advice. She's saying, turn your pain into purpose telling other women instead of having dignity and pride and self-respect to handle 
your conflicts in private, call the police, go down to the courthouse, get the restraining order, do what you need to do. She's saying, push the go live button and exploit yourself, exploit yourself and your situation for some attention so people could clown you. And it's just so stupid. It's like these, these bitches deserve to get dragged and clown. I mean, you, you put the shit online. So everybody's going to talk about it. Dumbass bitch. She absolutely did. Ladies, this ain't the end. It's not the end. You're going to see this over and over and over again. And you know what? People identify with this type of pain, right? Because that's how they're living their life. They do not want to get their ass over here and hear, hey, you deserve better. Maybe you should stop fucking with niggas and do something better. Put yourself first, right? Go to a therapist. Shout out to the Riddler, huh? Do what you got to do. No, they don't want to hear that shit. What the fuck? You mean something wrong with me. Ain't shit wrong with me. Tell these niggas they ain't shit and I'll sit in your goddamn chat. Well, I already know niggas ain't shit and so do you. So what, 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 what are we finna do? What's happening? Hey, Kyra, what's going on? Hey, so uh, that wanna, I want to bring this back to something I've said before, which is to stop getting suckered into the godmother hustle and the baby shower hustle because mm -hmm. she's, she was up here saying, well, you weren't saying that at my baby shower. Wait a minute. So folks who showed up at your baby shower to support you in your unmarried ass with some nigga's baby gave you a gift you shaking them down for gifts even though you're an influencer okay but if anyone disagrees with you then all of a sudden he's like put down my lemon pepper wings well ladies just hey don't go to these baby showers don't become the godmothers the aunties let them deal with it on their own and anything they need their their good unicorn nigga can get it for the baby good unicorn nigga <laughs> I'm not fucking with you, Kyra. I'm not. Uh, Ebony, you got anything on this? Because I'm sure you like, what the fuck is this? Who the fuck is this? And what the hell is going on? One thing I would like to say is for some reason, the attention whoring is catharsis for black women. And I don't know why. I'm going to show my whole ass, <laughs> no matter how raggedy everything is, to everyone and dare them to say anything to me. I don't I, I think they're gonna replace that for therapy. Otherwise, wash, rinse, repeat, pass. They were trauma bonding like a motherfucker in her comments. I mean, it's like the very first mistake, ladies, was fucking with a nigga. Tell me I'm lying. You turn your pain into progress. Or uh, listen, you wouldn't have any pain if you stay off of that that nigga. Pull up. I'm, I'm sorry. It is what it is. You're not going to be able to fix these niggas. You're not going to be able to date enough of them to find that one. I have told y'all this a billion times. And those of y'all that get it, group motherfucking hug. The rest of y'all keep going. Because guess what? I'm going to have content as long as you out here fucking up. I can do this goddamn show until the year 3026 if I can live that long. Then I'll probably get tired and sit the fuck down. Ladies, oh, go ahead, Aaliyah, because we, we are in I some old shit. I just wanted to add to what Mrs. Roke was saying earlier. The thing about them getting the fuck off social media, they don't understand how childish and immature they look. She does not look like somebody's mother at all. And mm -hmm. she's definitely not conducting herself like somebody's mother. You don't have to do all of that. See, that's the thing. And I don't think they really get how foolish they look. That shit is really off-putting, even as a businesswoman. When you got potential clients who are somewhere scoping out your social media account and profiles and, this, and shit, and they seeing all this drama, and they see how you acting. Like, again, you got potential clients and customers that are people that you really want to come and do business with you and spend money with you and this is type of drama is the first thing they see when they come to your page i'm sorry but i don't know how the fuck you do business but i wouldn't fuck with you that's why i say y'all don't know shit about being bosses for real because if you are a boss baby your image is first and foremost just like your reputation you don't you put that on the line for no one especially not a motherfucking nigga her clients are just like her. That's how she getting away with this shit, y'all. She know her clientele. She is her clientele. And they just down there watching it. Just watching it, okay? It is what it is. Um, and, Go uh, right ahead. And notice she had a thun. So, you know, this Absolutely. is just going to be the same bullshit in about 16 years. So, hey. Look, ladies, the desperation is the new 
pandemonium, right? That's what I just was telling the ladies on Patreon. And we're going to get into that um, that attention whoring, right, in Discord. Because I got a lot I want to say about that attention whoring. I won't go there here. But look, I want to give up. But I look at my son and realize it's bigger than me. Girl, you using your son as a reason, right? And an excuse to go ahead and maybe take that nigga back. I can read straight through that goddamn, that post. Bullshit. You did it before. You did it before. He was acting a fool before. And then I guess you thought he got it out of the system. Ladies, niggas can't get it out their system. That's who they are. That's act. That's like asking them to purge their DNA. They're not going to be able to do that shit. So anyway, heartbroken. Yeah, Easy. You're just bitter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What I wanted to say, look at that last line. I know all my pain is going to pay off. And she actually put a period at the end. Um, <laughs> why does it have to be pain to pay you off? They are addicted to struggle. I said, yes, black women there you are go. addicted to struggle, pain, and bullshit. I promise you, take a look at the likes and emojis on the left. 11,000 people agreed and 1.6k shared it why because they felt that shit that's how they live and i'm not with it i'm not with it okay? it's their it's their identity yep it's their identity all right smoke night for real what what ladies it's not just queen leora there's a billion bitches like queen leora there really are what no matter what they do for a living where they are in the country or the world for that matter but your desperation has a lot of layers to it, a lot of layers to it. And I want to tell you this before I get started. Everybody sees you. So the people that suffer the most with this, ladies, are divested women, because I'm going to tell you why. You mammy bitches, y'all outnumber us like a motherfucker. So whenever we go anywhere, they expect us to be like you because it makes sense that we'd be like you because the majority of black women are mammies. It is what it is. But you got people letting them cheat on them, beat on them, and all types of shit. And in order to get a ring, you're doing a lot. Huh? These niggas is waiting until their dying day when they don't have any other choice to turn you into a nurse with a motherfucking purse, and you're going for it. You're the hospice wife. You're the bitch with the insurance. You're the one that's going to make sure if he get diagnosed with diabetes, right, that he lowers his carb intake. He knows how to use his, his lancets and all types of shit, his glucometer, because that's what you're going to be doing. Look, they done did all the dicking down and fucking bitches left, right, and center. Now when it's time to sit their ass down because they're either dying, sick, broke, old, erectile dysfunction here you come giving them what they ask for so y'all take a look at this wedding picture and she is happy as fuck you understand what i'm saying to you this ladies i had to carefully select which pictures to grab because there were so many i had no idea that it was that me i knew y'all was out there but I had no idea that you were so desperate to tell other bitches that you was married, right? That you'd go for this. This nigga got an NG tube in his motherfucking nose. Do you understand me for a wedding photo? Let's go. This is a mess. Hmm. Man with terminal cancer gets married from his hospital bed and you said yes. Ladies, young Oh, middle age and all over the globe, black women are down bad. <laughs> Take a look at my thumbnail. I said what the fuck I said. This is y'all. This is y'all. I can't believe it. he still looks sad. <laughs> he don't. He don't want to have to marry her. He want that health insurance. And she got dressed up and everything. That motherfucker is so embarrassed. He got his shades on. Pull up. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Tyrone will leave your ass if you get a paper cut. Oh, you sprained your ankle, bitch. I'm out. 
You're not well, lying, Kyra, because there are statistical data that say that these men will disproportionately abandon you with can terminal diagnosis. Like a woman got left by her husband, what, like four or five months ago before she died, and she had terminal cancer. And here, y'all want to hear something real funny about watching this shit to me. Remember a couple months back when I said that um, Black men have the shortest life expectancy of any male demographic within the United States of America? I don't know about globally. I just know about that side of the pond. And there was a bitch that got kind of upset about that. That's not true. You're not taking into factors. Uh, no, I am not wrong because you can now check the nursing home rosters of the United States of America. They are dying earlier than any demographic of men outside of the indigenous population. And that is only because we don't keep track of them. They are a separate and sovereign nation. So you bitches can eat a dick and thank me later. Look, uh, oh, they, 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 I would like to apologize. Oh. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Go ahead, Aaliyah. No, I was about to say thanks is definitely old because I guarantee you somebody gonna steal that whole goddamn line you just gave. But either way, <laughs> he definitely sitting up there looking like he at a damn funeral, like he about to burst out crying <laughs> at the wedding. I mean, I he ain't got long. He ain't got long, so he won't be disappointed. <laughs> See, this hospice wife situation is something that we've discussed before. DZ has even said it's all fun and games until you got to start giving sponge baths, changing wound dresses, and changing shitty diapers. See, y'all really have to be careful with these old ass men. Now, make me go back and pull all those live streams where this has been a topic. So let me say it again for the hearing impaired. There is nothing wrong with liking older men if that's what you like, but he should not be the same age as your grandfather because a lot of these motherfuckers are asleep too and will love bomb you a lot of the times the, the the younger you are you want to travel you want a vacation you want to do other shit not tend to someone with tons of health problems and y'all can keep listening to these fools on social media if y'all want to but they don't all these men don't always die as quickly as a lot of you seem to think they will and i know that sounds cold but it's true so before you assume that he may be with your ass for a while and for y'all on this sprinkle shit y'all should know that these men are intentionally seeking y'all out mm -hmm. for this very reason so while you think you're the ones playing the game the joke is on you because most of the time he is he has way more health problems than what these men, you know, than what you even know about, than what he has even told you about. A lot of them got medical bills out the ass, but of course you won't know that. And so if you have any health insurance through your job, he's going to help you drain that too. And that's part of the scam that targets thirsty ass black women who are thirsty for black love and marriage. They target nurses. They target child free women. And don't mm -hmm. get it twisted. They will do this to their own daughters too, including the ones they had no hand and raising they'll track them down once they get sick i told y'all my my cousin's dad did it he was never there for her but he died right in her house being looked after her and being looked after by her and i told her then you are a better woman than me but hey these are not our, our opinions do your own research like i said many times she said granddaddy she said granddaddy i'm gonna go ahead and interrupt and say yo daddy listen there's no way that you're getting your freak on right and this motherfucker ooching and arching on top of your motherfucking ass and he the same age as your daddy. I, I'm going to suspect your ass some sort of weird ass free. Pull up. Uh, <laughs> DZ, Aaliyah, Ebony, I have a medical question for y'all. Yeah. Um, does it give, cause certain cancers to appear in the body? It's like this. Your immune system is very fucking attacked by HIV, right? Stuff that you would normally be able to fight off if you didn't have HIV, now you don't have that ability. So your body is just a playing ground for all of these goddamn bacteria, cancers, and all that good shit. That's how that works. And right. funguses, okay? Mm -hmm. And you have to understand that a lot of black men, for some reason, with the hip thing, they do not, Aaliyah, help me with this. They do not stay on their suppressive drugs all the time. Of course they, of course not. And me and DZ talk about this all the time when it comes to not just heal but um different ailments is, is adherence is the biggest thing because like we talked about on this channel before the problem is that a lot of people a lot of people 
they don't even take the antiretroviral meds to even go back into undetectable status. And even if they do, once they reach undetectable status, they immediately stop going to the doctor because they think they're cured. And that's why we have told them time and time again, it's not a cure. You still have the disease and that you still, that's why you still have to go back for routine blood work from time to time. Cause at any point your strain of HIV could have stopped. Uh, I, 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 I'm, sorry. Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This one is a really, really fucking good one. Ladies, you can relate more to this one right here, right? <laughs> This motherfucker has heart disease, CHF, COPD. His heart is fucked up. So he had a little health scare. Had a little health scare. He thought he was going to unalive that day. Look at this bullshit. He said, oh, now I'm ready. I done got it all out my system. I'm ready to settle the fuck down. Ladies, this is embarrassing. It's embarrassing. The only way you should have let him do that, sis, is if he had some wealth that you were trying to transfer into your name. And looking at this fat, dusty son of a bitch, I'm sure he did not. Ladies, this is desperation and it's embarrassing. So let's say your ass is divested and you have just gotten away from all of the nonsense from the black community. Now, you got your black ass out here. And these women that you see on your screen, right? They done did all this shit. And here you come with your standards. <laughs> Yeah, that part. That's why I cannot stand a fucking mammy and I'm going to keep my knee on their neck until it's all over with because this shit is ridiculous. This Thank should you. not have happened. Yes, ma'am. What is sexy and wonderful about nothing, somebody with a, a nasal cannula in an NG tube? Nothing. He's got a, he's got a whole bunch of chronic diseases. That Fuck is not... That, Ebony. Ebony, he's black. <laughs> stop, stop there. Stop there. He's black. I fuck the NG tube and the nasal cannula and all that shit. That's a nigga. What? I mean, the Ebony, thing is though, he, you have to also remember, you know, you see his head is bowed in prayer. So, you know, God, according to the man, we brought him to this no, point. So his they, head is bowed because his motherfucking head too big. His neck is heavy on the neck. That motherfucker got a weak neck. He's like a sea check, cow. Let me check on Snapple because I'm sure she back there cackling her ass. What is Snapple, do you got shit on mm -hmm. this channel? I know nothing, nothing. That's why my let me shut up. Look, Snapple. I'm just yeah, I'm good. I, you're right. I'm over here cackling, but like, um, it's it's black women's desperation to me. Black women are ass backwards as fuck. Everybody knows. That when you're looking for marriage and for a husband, you want a protector, a provider, somebody that's going to be there for you and support you and help you, you know, through life. And these dumbass bitches, I just, they're just stupid. They're just dumb. They in the upside down. They do everything backwards. Like, it's just, it's just so dumb. So you chose to marry this, this ail, ailing uh, on his deathbed creature to have to tend to, um, just to say, my husband, I is married now. You know these hoes, you know they down to the church house, down to the Walmart. Yeah, my husband, yeah, I'm just picking up, they, they down there at the pharmacy. Yeah, I'm picking up the pills. Yeah, my husband, I need these creams to put on his groin. You know, my, my husband, my husband, they just want to be able to say my husband. And it's like, girl, bye. They look so stupid. Look, husbands I mean, are amazing. Do you understand me? If this is what y'all calling a husband, I feel sorry for you. Husbands are amazing. Do you hear me? I mean, I'll leave that. With a real man. Listen, that's not a husband that's in that bed. I know what I said, Ebony. I said husbands are amazing. I don't consider. I, I think y'all got me fucked up. I, hold on. Because I, I think y'all got me. I don't consider black men in any of these situations. When I say man, husband, that type of shit, provider, I'm not talking about them. They ain't included in this shit. I promise you. Huh? Ladies. This is the kind of shit that they sign up for. Why do you want somebody that's this obese as much as they stay complaining about black women's weight? We talked about this all the time. They're the most out of shape group of men. They are very unhealthy. They're experiencing high blood pressure, stroke, diabetes is out of control. A lot of them are experiencing liver and kidney failure and all kind of shit. And so this is the kind of shit that you're signing up to do to change a whole lot of bags and 
just be bothered with a whole bunch of fuck shit and bullshit and be responsible for driving them back and forth to doctor's appointments and all this shit. Is this really what you want to spend your time doing? Being somebody's full-time live-in caregiver? Because that's really essentially what you are. And the thing is, like I said, they're intentionally seeking out women for this is the new scam here that's going on. DZ. You know what, ladies, okay. if, if you know that it's happening because make no mistake about it, they know that it's happening are you being scammed if you know these niggas don't like black women and you walk in anyway are you being scammed that's a question you need to ask your damn self look at your screen okay <laughs> this was during the c19 <laughs> old boy thought he was gonna stop breathing so he called this bitch over and say yep uh, you know what? You're the woman of my dreams. I found out that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you, Shanita, Shakita, whatever the fuck her name is. Huh? And she went for it. Ladies, he was on his uh, unaliving bed, right? And she went for it. But I want to make you laugh for a second. P please, please look at this goofy bitch. The nurses at the hospital made her a veil with some hospital towels. Where am I at? Is this a parallel universe? I, I, I think, yes, ma'am. I'm done. I bet she knows everything that goes on in that hospital. Because hmm. <laughs> she got a big ass nose. But uh... <laughs> you, you make me so bad. <laughs> I don't know what you say. We trying to get all these motherfuckers. These hoes ain't victims. They signed up for this shit too. These niggas are seeking them out and they are seeking these niggas out. They they all want this shit. This shit is weird and it's it's really a, they they are embarrassing like you said because they running around here putting this shit on display and and they look like us. I mean, she don't look like I mean, I hope nobody knows anybody that looks like her. But I'm just saying like, you know, Fuck these hoes. These, I don't feel sorry for them and I don't feel like they're being scammed and I don't feel like they are victims and I don't feel like they're being preyed on either. I feel like they are desperate. The bar is in hell and they on the prowl as well and they're like, oh, okay, I'll take care. I'll cook them some kitlins and, you know, some ham hops down to the hospital and I'm going to get me a husband. <laughs> they want a husband. They want somebody to call a husband just to say I was married now. Mm. But DZ, they are still volunteering for their demise. Fuck them. They are, they are still, still lining up to volunteer for their own demise. Because here's the thing. These Ebony, guys will drink. Re Ebony, reach behind you, right? And grab that lube. Because I said, fuck them. Huh? Grab okay, the lube. I, okay, got lube. All right. <laughs> let, let, let's go ahead and fuck I got em. a question. <laughs> I, I got to yes, be petty. Why the fuck is her hairline south of the equator? How oh. does your hairline start from the back behind your ears, girl? What are you doing? Stop. He's stressing you out that bad? You can drive. That, her forehead is as long as Ruth's fucking 66. You drive north to south on that bitch. I'm not even trying to be funny. Girl, judging by your edges and not just your nose, you need to. You should have left that nigga in there and let them stack him in the goddamn morgue with the rest of them goddamn corpses. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. This is so embarrassing. Mm -hmm. You sitting there with a goddamn towel on your head. For <laughs> I, can't, I can't even get it out. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Lord. Ladies, I not. I can't. Um, This is comedy. This is comedy. That's all it is. <laughs> Pretending like it's a veil, y'all. I, I cannot. And she's smiling. I, I, I'm i sorry. I, I would have took that same towel and covered my face if anybody would have pulled out a camera. She I, reminds I, me of a I troll. I don't even want to be seen in here. <laughs> you know those troll dolls? There you go. Yes. With a towel on its head. Yes, yes. Take a look at your screen. Those of y'all that are ex blackistani uh, citizens, can y'all, there it is, there it is. Let me find that goddamn comment and put it on the screen because I knew somebody was going to know what the fuck is going on. Hold up, hold up, boom, bam. Look, when you come from Blackistan, you already know what this picture gives. So y'all around here turning into influencers, taking care of niggas that want to be rappers. You around here marrying motherfuckers that's on their deathbed and they ain't got no other choice but you sexy, right? So here we go. Y'all marrying niggas in jail. The desperation is real, ladies. It's very real. That niggas behind her. Look at this. Ladies, I want you to take a look at this. This is a wedding photo. 
I said, this is a wedding photo. Are y'all okay? I'm checking on y'all. Are y'all okay? Hold up. I, I need a break. Okay. I need a break. embarrassing you know what DZ um, I know like people who are Christian that say you can't say nothing nice say nothing at all I just decided I'm going to hell this bitch look like Tamoon what's that who is from the warthog the child she looked the warthog from the Lion King Pumba I think his name is she looked like Pumba from Pumba and Tamoon and they just standing there like black mistress role really please I beg you, I beseech you, just fucking stop. If y'all gonna engage in this debaucherous, dumbass bullshit, don't put it on the internet. Don't scream about it loud and proud. I's married now. Girl, you married a goddamn criminal. He's doing 15 year bid. You know he's sucking more dick than you gonna get to suck this year. What are you doing? This shit, y'all. She, and then she got flipping. I married a prisoner. People say I'm delusional, but we the real deal. Y'all, please don't let these women troll, y'all. Don't take them serious. Just take a sip of your ice cold water with a twist of lime and laugh your ass off at them. Y'all know where this is going. Y'all know exactly where this shit is going. And there's no shortage of pictures of women marrying men in jail. Do y'all remember Maya Moore? This is ridiculous. If y'all don't remember her, she's from the WNBA. Y'all don't think y'all worth a fuck. So you put in all that work to get a nigga out of jail so you can make him your wife? Because that's what he is. You doing all the work. Y'all got wives around this bitch. I can't. Kyra, you got anything? Because I I'm, I hate everybody. Well, I was I did have a thought about back to the fat nigga earlier. She was probably wanting to marry him because, you know, he probably going to get his foot chopped off because of some diabetes and he can't run like Kunta Kinte. Just like how it is. DZ. Yes, ma'am. I wanted to say, too, like, obviously we know that the Kangs are dangerous and it is extremely stupid for Black women to get with them. But then they take it to another level and they go get criminals straight out of the pound to bring... It's like, come on now, this one that you just showed, the big girl... She probably gonna be a headline soon because he unalived her. Like it's he's already institutionalized. That's like a feral animal, and you gonna y'all gonna go get them and bring them home. And it's just it's really if you would think that with all the feminist the black femicide and all that that these women would be a little smarter. But it's like no. But you know why? Because their fellow mammy sistren are like oh the black men are being uh, maligned and then they really are the most involved fathers and the criminal justice system is racist and all this dumb shit but it's like so it's like okay we'll see i'm <clears throat> i'm gonna try to remember her face because she's gonna be on a thumbnail soon ladies don't feel sorry for any of these women because they real flippant let's go hey bitch i was the guy who probably introduced myself on here so let's go my name is coco not coco her husband kai is in prison he's been in prison for almost six years like five and a half years we've been together for three and a half years so obviously we wasn't together when How? we was out i'm not one of those capping ass bitches i'm not going to tell you that we was we was me and my husband was just friends and then we decided to be together there's three things about my husband that i would never tell you i would never tell you where he's at I will never tell you what he allegedly did, and I would never tell you when he's getting released. So those three questions will never get answered on this page, like ever, ever, ever. I think the number one question people always ask me is how do you stay positive through all this? I'm not always positive, I have bad days too, but having your own life and having things going on outside of your husband will make it so much better. If you don't do nothing but make prison your whole personality like girl yes you're gonna be sad you're gonna be depressed like who wants to do that i post on here and i get off. i post on here and i go live my life i post on here and i go tend to my business i post on here and i go tend to my child three tips that i'm gonna give you all stay out the way mind your own business these bitches are weird you don't want to find out the hard way so yeah if there's anything else that you want to know outside yeah, I do. Of three questions that are never get answered then feel free to ask and i'll be more than happy to answer bye Easy. Who cares? Fuck you. That's what I'm saying. Who the fuck is asking you anything? And I just, the only reason I want to show her ladies is because I know somebody in the clouds is saying, well, that's what fat, ugly bitches do. Well, that bitch wasn't fat. She wasn't ugly. And here's the deal. If you take your ass to TikTok, there's a whole prison wife sector. Did you hear what I said? 
I, I can't is, do it. These mouths. More power to you. That's all I got to say. And do you? Here's the thing. I don't think these bitches know the meaning of words. Because she said what he allegedly did. Bitch, he was convicted. He did it. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's end of the sentence, period, as you whores say. Number one. Number two, you said, and my child. So he's been locked up. So I'm going to go out and venture and say that that's possibly not his child. Why are y'all exposing your fucking children to monsters? Why do you always have to gamble and you know you're going to lose? And you know who else is going to suffer? Who's going to suffer the most? That child. I just pray it ain't a little girl. But knowing a dumb bitch like that, it probably is. Period. Right, I'm Aaliyah. sorry. Right, Aaliyah. It's like, okay, well, you do your thing, and I will cover every inch of you when he flipped your ass upside down. Because everybody can get it. All you mammies can really get it. Because y'all are giving very bad examples to these young girls. And here's the deal with the young girls, y'all, y'all already know, y'all, because y'all got two ears too. Y'all know that shit don't work. So don't start blaming your mama because of what you saw. The internet is way too old for you to be blaming that old stupid bitch about what you fixing to do with your life. Because remember. Can't nobody tell you nothing. So when you fuck up, don't then say, well, I learned it from my mom. She was real tasha and shit. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that shit. You, you, you know everything every other time. So do you pull up. The thing is, what your parents do not teach you, you must supplement your own education with. What is it C.S. Lewis said? Experience is life harshest teacher, but you learn, my God, do you learn? I just don't understand why y'all always have to learn the fucking hard way. You saw the movie before. They rolled the credits. You knew how it ended, but you thought, oh, I'll be different. I'm the anomaly. No, bitch, you're going to be the goddamn toe tag person. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of playing this. I can't feel sorry for any of y'all. If you're stupid enough to partake in dumbass antics and that's the hill you want to die on, girl, rest in peace. But Mistress Rose. They never learn anything in the first place. <laughs> um, Marilyn, <laughs> Maylin, is that Maylin or Marilyn? Are you dusty? No, ma'am. How are y'all this evening? Fucking amazing. What you got on the topic? I have a genuine question. So a couple months ago, I was on Instagram and there was a post of this woman who was marrying a man in prison, right? And he's locked up like a animal. And he I is an animal, know, probably. I'm just curious, how do you meet somebody in prison? Like, well, how does that even happen? How do they? Well, first of all, Malin, 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 let me stop you right there. Let's not get ignorant. Here's the deal. Y'all be up under these people, right? These dating channels, and they be introducing y'all to prisoners. And don't nobody click the fuck off. By the way, do y'all understand that there is a whole dating app for people that in that are in jail and black women are on that motherfucker posting their pictures and shit? I said what I said. That's how they finding them. They looking for them. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm just, I was just like, how do they, because I'm not on dating sites. So I'm like, how do they even get to find these guys and why? Well, the prison is there and, and they want somebody very desperately and they go and get with these niggas. It's just as simple as that. I'll be tripping on seeing some of these goddamn channels and it's the dude saying what he wants in, in a woman. And there's a wall of cinder blocks behind his ass and everybody listening. But anyway, you know what's the really sad thing about it is another way they meet each other is through word of mouth, because usually somebody is somebody's girl's friend basically so it'll be a dude that's already in that it already got some chick he knew on the street writing him and coming to visit him and put money on his books well if she got friends then that's how they would meet the other person in there so that is usually like this big cycle that they got going on so now your friend dude in jail and she got you connected with another nigga in jail that may be friends with her dude that's locked up. So both of you bitches now are going back and forth to the jail and writing letters and putting monies on books. So that's how a lot of them, you know, are come out like that. But I, I will say this. They supposed to be so pro-black, but it's an old African proverb that states, he who conceals his disease cannot expect to be cured and that includes mental on top of that i'm being so i don't like african proverb fuck africans go ahead i'm just i'm just saying <laughs> I, i'm just saying <laughs> he who conceals his disease cannot expect to be cured the problem the thing is they don't see a problem with any of this 
So it is what it is. If they want to walk around, she all on social media. They proud of what they doing. You see what they, they are. Doing? They this are. this shit right here, black women need their brains need to be studied at this point. They need to be exactly lobotomized. What the fuck is wrong with you? No, these bitches need lobotomizing. I'm sorry. I don't want. I want these bitches standing in a corner on a gurney, strapped to a gurney, just looking at a motherfucking wall. I don't want them nowhere in the same world as me. Side note: there be niggas in prison on Facebook, and that's another reason why I hate social media. Because they had a couple of weeks ago, my um aunt was telling me how a motherfucker was reaching out to underage girls and sending them dick pics. Mm. Through social media. Why do you have access to social media? Motherfucker, you in prison. This ain't summer camp. You need to be back there busting rocks with a rubber fucking hammer or something. This is why I want to know where the fuck my tax dollars are going. This is why I'm tired of y'all oh, thinking. What, do what are you going to do? bring up taxes right now. Aaliyah already know. That she already know. <sighs> Wait till we get in Discord. Oh, um, Colette de Jure, I'm glad you brought that up. Okay? Because this is the thing. With their culture, right? That's something that they're going to put on their papers. They're going to talk about it because they don't want to lose their fucking women, right? With divestors, it's a whole different story because guess what? Other black women ain't going to let it fly. Black men are going to say what they say. What I don't give a fuck what they say. But black women will stop that divestment movement and talk shit about it. You don't see other women from that culture down in the 4B chicks. I know exactly what you're talking about. I really do. And I'm very proud of them girls. I really am because they are not fucking playing. But that what right there, that? the coverage, we would never, ever, ever get that type of coverage because of that community in which we hail from. Because our position is mule. But them goddamn Asian bitches are doing their thing. And they were trending. I saw that, Colette. South Korea, oh. yep. I saw that too. And well, you want to know what know Mammy said? Is. What is that? There so is their divestment movement. Yeah, it's essentially they're not, they agree not to have any intimate relationship with men. They ain't having kids with men. They don't date men. They don't deal with men. They just basically cut the male completely the fuck out until they get equality, equity within the society. And these now, are I'm, Asian women? This uh -huh. is South Korean. That's why their population is taking such a hit. They are, are projected to be extinct if these women don't fall in line, quote unquote, by what, 2150? And that's why they're freaking the fuck out. But I saw that on TikTok as well when I took a gander in there early this week. And would you know, it's these mammy bitches. But that would destroy our community. Bitch, what community? I'm still Thank waiting you. on y'all to show me one. You living among rubble, poverty, and pestis. And you talking about a motherfucking community. If you whores don't get off... Ooh, Mark Zuckerberg, please pull the plug on this shit. I'm See, begging you. Something like that takes a lot of unity and a lot yep. of self-control and a lot of saying what you mean and mean what you say. And they want to talk about how they stand on business. Black women can't get serious about shit. They ain't loyal to nothing and they can't go without that dick. So you already know this that, that would be a movement that would be doomed before you even get it up off the ground. They have no control over that box whatsoever. Look, so they're uh, loyal to that only, ladies. They are getting that shit popping. Do your research on it. Don't get your hopes up though, because you are a black woman, right? And the your sister and they ain't having it. But them goddamn Asian bitches are not playing. I was looking into it, and I'm like, oh my god, we would never get this type of coverage. You ain't seen medium, um, TSR, and none of the motherfuckers address divestors. What they hoping is that they don't say nothing to us and we'll just go away and come back to the black community. But that's not what's going to happen, baby. I've been gone for three decades. Fuck you sideways. Hmm? Ladies... This is the reason, though, DZ, why those women always have a better outcome than us, or than black women, Clearly. not the divestants. Clearly. Clearly, because they ain't they not bullshitting with theirs, but hey, that's a whole nother topic. I'm sure Discord gonna be popping tonight. Ladies, young, old, middle age, and everything in between. Can you see my screen? Do you see what that says? You 70 and still ain't learned a motherfucking thing. Ladies, this is why you cannot hold out hope for that community. Divest your ass off. Not you being 70 years old, giving birth to twins, and the daddy done ran away. I'm looking at the chat. Here's the other thing I wanted to bring up concerning this. This is her. This is how I know y'all not into that beauty influence and shit, and it's all about men. It's all about niggas. That's what it's about. 
you keep your ha your hair looking like you know drag queens and it's all types of colors you got makeup you got waist trainers you got lashes all the way down the street and as soon as you you know don't really give a fuck like that because your libido done went down you let your beauty go so who were you doing it for in the first place you look like nelson mandela right it looks like nelson mandela got left with twins they ain't checking for you hmm? the man yes ma'am I'm sorry. Did she, it says she's 70? 70. 70. D DZ, do you realize this bitch is one step a deep breath in an Uber ride from death? What the fuck is she going to do with kids? Girl, you're going to be dead before they turn five. Well, oh, Lord, help us. Oh, I am so at a loss for words. Snapple, do you have anything? Because I'm done. Nelson Mandela had twins and the baby daddy <laughs> left. The baby daddy <laughs> left. <laughs> No, so now that one took me out because now I can't unsee it. DZ, why you do that? <laughs> why did you do that? I can't take you nowhere, DZ. <laughs> oh my God. Um, <laughs> I agree with Mr. Rogue. Like, this lady is extremely selfish for her to be trying to bring some kids into the world at her big, 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 big age. Like, she's literally not going to see them pass, probably toddler them. And, um, I mean, it's just, it just goes, to, it just gives more credence to these elder mammies and how we don't need to listen to them. Nobody needs to listen to them because these old bitches don't be, they don't be having no foresight. They don't give a fuck. They don't make good decisions. They don't have no advice to give. They don't be dropping gems. They ignorant as fuck and lost souls as well. So just, um, ladies, get y'all some books, read y'all some books and learn that way because these, these elders ain't, ain't it. I could uh, literally, ladies, I could give her a makeover and she'd be gorgeous, but she don't give a fuck no more. This right here made me think that, you know, these beauty, you know, folks and, you know, these folks that be at the Sephora's and Ulta's and all these different places. Y'all doing that just for me and y'all not, y'all not into beauty because you wouldn't let yourself go just because you old don't mean that you can't be elegant. Pull up on me. What's up, Kyra? Uh, So the Riddler, you know, the ladies are asking in the chat, how did she get pregnant? So, and the Riddler dropped the T, so she had IVF, so she made a conscious decision at her old age to do IVF, and it was successful, clearly, all for a nigga who ran out on her, and, <laughs> look, oh, I'm going to say something ugly, look, I get it that, you know, you go through hormonal changes when you're, when you get older, there's no re for you to go, reason for you to go around with a full beard, get some damn wax. Mm. I saw y'all at Snapple let me know earlier. Y'all upset about that Romeo and Juliet casting while I'm changing my goddamn screen. I um, It's not making any sense. I thought, you know, you wanted somebody melanated. Listen, here's the deal. <laughs> y'all be bloviating all over the place about how you got all this self-esteem. And I know it's not true. I know it ain't true. Because as soon as you saw that, uh, let me just call it what she is, that ugly bitch up there, right? You You had a fit. But when I see you in comment sections, right, you talking about, well, you know, everybody, they, they, you do this body positivity shit. Can I tell y'all a secret? Some people are ugly. Some people are average looking and some people are, are beautiful. Why can't you say that shit? Why is it that we have to sit up here and fool ourselves about certain things? Listen, if there's no ugly people, how do you define beauty? I'm trying to see something. What's beautiful if it ain't no ugly? What are you comparing it to? Okay, and I see y'all upset with the white folks for picking her for Juliet. Hey, y'all told them that all but black is beautiful. So she's black, right? She's black. Why the fuck? You, what? What's happening? I'm confused. Is, oh, okay, so who is the Juliet? Listen, what's her name? Snapple? I can't remember her I, name. Girl, I, I, I don't know her name, but Aaliyah, I don't know. You're not on social media like that, so I don't know how to where to direct you to. But uh, uh, the Blacks are mad at white people because white people have been expressing their distaste for this actress who does not seem to fit the Juliet role, as you would think when you think of Juliet or the romantic lead for the play. Um, she looks mean in the pictures that I saw. She looks aggressive. Um, you know, I know they hate when th people say that about Black women. But she's like scowling into the camera. She got a five o'clock shadow, mustache. Her jaw is a little strong. But you know, it is what it is. You know, you know. Her name is uh, 
keep I'm it real, Snapple. Girl. She looked just <laughs> like the dude that we was talking about. She looked like old boy that beat up <laughs> that white right. girl. <laughs> She with that, he's like, with that. But these, these, huh? these, these black people need to stop because they wouldn't even cast her in a romantic lead for any of their productions. And so they should be glad that, you know, white zaddy um decided to put her put her somewhere nope. on, on a lead. You know <laughs> Absolutely what I'm saying? And, like, and also for the other white folks, that's not them being racist. They're valid this time. Like if she don't fit the role. They have they have the right. They they did the same thing to who was that fat, ugly white bitch that they tried to get to play Barbie at first, and then they bullied her ass out of that role. Cause bitch, what? You can't play Barbie, bitch. I mean, mm -hmm. they, it's, it's equal opportunity smoke. See, but you can't be you can't be truthful around black folks. Some people are just simply ugly. Now you're gonna have to call her ugly to these white folks, and you're gonna have to keep it real. Here's the thing. Won't you make your own shit? That's what I'm saying. Why are y'all monitoring what other people are doing with their film industry? Why you can't make nothing? Where is Tyler Perry? He can cast Taraji, I guess, because that's his favorite actress. I, I don't know. And why she broke, I have no idea. But y'all getting ready to get called out. White people are trolling y'all because they want y'all to go ahead and say them lies that y'all been saying the whole time. You're going to have to call her beautiful because black is beautiful, remember? And they never pick a black woman for a role. So they did. Now you pissed? So who is she, Mrs. Roll? Do you know who they're talking about? Because I don't know. See, yeah, I, look I looked her up. I know I work too much. Yeah. I looked her up when we were talking about her in Discord. Her name is Francesca uh, Rivers. I can't pronounce her other name. I think it might be like African or something, but oh, her name so is Francesca African. Rivers. Oh, okay. She's not she even like an American. Kane Pop. She looked like Kane the Conqueror. Don't she? Ooh, I know she, she does. She does. She so like, me. If she, you put, put a wig on Kang and you got Kanga. You understand um, me? I'm telling you, I'm not even playing. And shit, we got to keep it real around here. Bella Film, are you dusty? No, ma'am. Can you hear me? I absolutely can. What you got on the topic? Um, I recently just had a conversation with my younger sister. Um, I can't say that I'm recently divested. Hey, um, I've hey, been hey. divested for a little bit of um time, but before Bella. that, I was Bella. like within Blackistan. Can y'all hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I was just trying to see something. Okay. I want you to know that 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 doesn't work. You know, just trying to talk over, ladies. When you come up here, uh, talk about the topic, please, because I I'm doing a mic check. One two one two. All right, Bella. Let's try this again. I'm sorry. Um, the with topic? the topic. Mm -hmm. Um, what I can say is is that um. With the conversation that I was having with my sister is that like I was like questioning because I see a lot of what is going on and it's like I question like what is wrong with a lot of these black women like I question it, is is it like something that like a lot of them like to boast about how like they're educated and the most this that and the third but it's like y'all are not really showing it when it comes to like y'all relationships with these dusties and stuff it's like you guys are have these degrees and have all these like accolades and accomplishments but when it comes to relationships it's like they don't know how to function they don't know what is like proper they don't know how to vet these men and it's like why i, I just i just don't get it i don't i don't know if there's something in the air if there's some type of spell or something like i just don't get why these women do not see these men well these these i don't know what 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 to even call them these these dusties for what they truly are because like the 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 evidence is like literally everywhere it's in our faces it's in the news it's in the music it's in everything and the whole world knows who these guys are and like they just fail to see it and i just don't get what is what is it gonna take for them to finally see what you know the writing Let me answer your question real quick. They're black women and they're mammies. Nothing's in the air. Nobody casted a spell. They are willfully ignorant and they're volunteers at this point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it, it's really sad because like you think that, you know, it's just common sense at this point. It's just logic, but it's just not there. 
What did I just say? He who conceals his disease cannot expect to be cured. Meaning that they will not even name the fucking problem for starters. They don't even acknowledge that this behavior is problematic. They think that everything is wrong with something is wrong with everybody else who even sees the problem or states the problem. The problem is not what they're doing. The problem is not their behavior. The problem is you. You're just jealous and bitter. You just want what I got. You just you just hating on me. That's why I say that they, they're very fucking delusional, and it's something oh, yeah. seriously wrong there. But that, no, nobody wants to say it out loud. So that's why we are where we are. Also, um, can I just say to the caller, um, it sounds like you're new. It sounds like at first you said you're not, you can't say that you're divested or you're not divested for long, but. You said something along the lines of they're not vetting them. I just wanted to clarify and just let you know that there is no vetting them. There's no unicorn. They don't exist. Um, it's hashtag all avoid all of them. That part. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I agree because like, to be honest with you guys, I've lost like all attraction to them because of their weird behaviors and their like ways of like thinking Bill, and stuff like that. Bill, are you behind the wall? Are you behind the wall? Because this sounds like a discord conversation a little bit. Oh yeah. Oh no. I want to, I want to get back discord. To, okay. I want to get back to the topic real quick. We already know black men ain't shit and we know black women, they love them to death and guess what? They're going to keep doing it and I'm going to keep dragging them. How about that? Okay. okay yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right. Thank I you. appreciate you. Absolutely. I appreciate you. Let me right. scroll up here and check the back one more time before I show y'all some fuck shit. Okay, Janet, are you dusty? No, I'm not. How you doing? I'm fucking amazing. You in the bathroom? No, I'm not in the bathroom right here. I'm just, I'm just what you got? Bad watch. Really, really. I knew that. Um, was anyway, that bitch is taking the shit right and then turning back around and picking that shit log right the fuck back up because it's very identical to that same goddamn dick that Janet's right and her motherfucking mama sucking on. Pull up now. I mean, he got up here and did all that and made himself sound like a whole just to scream in the phone that you're a bad wench. How many Get times have we up. already owned that? That heart. Yes. Mm, mm, mm. Get a new bad. fucking insult. My God. Yes, I'm a bed winch and I'm fucking amazing at it. I have a three carat ring on my finger that says I am. And I have a great career and I'm not worried about my bills being paid, motherfucker. Get like me if you're smart, but I know you won't. Mm, mm, mm. It is what it is. Ladies, check it. So y'all still out here putting out hits? Really? Really? for a nigga that didn't choose you i didn't say that the news did did you hear what i said i said that the news said you didn't get chose so therefore you got disgruntled and paid a nigga to take one of your sisters up out of here oh i'm lying really let's do this 52 minutes was all it took for this jury to come back with a conviction of first degree murder charges against both suspects in this case. And while the defense argued that there were no real eyewitnesses here, that there was no solid identification on the shooter, keep in mind that that victim's 11 year old boy was in the back seat of the car at the time of his mother's murder. I cannot wait to hold that little boy and tell him that the people who murdered his mother have been held accountable. Family members say when her son learned of Rachel King's murder, he said over and over, his mom was good and kind and didn't deserve that. The 11 year old boy was in the back seat of his mother's car when Zaki Alakim shot King six times. He didn't know Rachel. He was hired by Julie Jean. It was her obsession with a man who chose Rachel King over her that fueled the murder. Period, pull up. Ladies, y'all not fooling me with this bullshit. You're not. I know you love black men. I know you'll do anything for them. You can keep up with that boss bitch act all you want to. Do you, you understand me? 
I know that you are salivating at the mouth, not only to win him, but to also take him from, I think y'all enjoy the competition. And then when you lose the competition, make no mistake about it. She's probably number three or four because there's a two coochie minimum, which means there's two or more. Y'all are not fooling anybody. You and your post on Facebook, Instagram, none of that shit. You fixing to get over, turn pain into progress. I'd fuck that. I know y'all are fucked up in the game. And until you do the work to go ahead and get yourself all the way together, this type of shit will never, ever cease. But I do owe y'all some flowers. Thank you for all the stories. I can't even get to them all. We've been up here for an hour and a half, and I still don't have enough time to drag you motherfuckers. But it is what it is. Y'all are lame embarrassing and i'm gonna keep it real with you i wish some days that i didn't look like you because it's not that you're not beautiful it's that you're embarrassing it's humiliation i can't with y'all all that this fucking planet got eight billion people on it and you getting ready to do your life the rest of your life in the penitentiary right because one nigga didn't choose you let me go ahead and bust y'all's bubble they don't like choosing you. You are a settle. I got three different people on my Patreon that sent me a link to this black man that said that he finally thinks he's going to have no choice but to settle for you. And he was dead ass serious. He looked terrible. His hairline was fucked up. He looked like he smelled. He didn't have a car. He was riding a bike. He needed a haircut. He was in a mess. But guess what? He said you were his settle. I can't. Just like that dude that just called up here yelling in the phone, I'm pretty sure he had a lot in common with that person. Because a lot of them niggas dusty just like that. And that's why they mad. And then that's why they call up here and do goofy shit like scream in the phone. Like, see, children. That's all they are. Overgrown children. I'm he sorry. Was, he was but... a believable bitch to me. I don't see them as men. I really don't. I actually thought that was a chick when she called her. Because, you know, sometimes these bitches, they, y'all remember our live stream, what, what's today, Friday on Tuesday, homegirl was whooping that nigga's ass on that goddamn screen. <laughs> Pull up. Go ahead, Mr. Shrove. The thing is, the motherfucker sitting on here saying, well, I got to set up for a black woman. Yeah, that sounds very much like was with Jesse Owens, who said laying with a black woman was like laying with poverty, and he just couldn't see himself doing that. Or the motherfucker from the Rat Pack that tried to unalive his wife because he was forced to marry her. Or what was his name? Oh, good old Nat King Cole, Mr. Smile. Whatever the fuck his name was, he settled for his black wife and traumatized their two black children. I don't know how many times we have to get up here and rehash this shit out. I just, at this point, I used to think y'all were just stupid, dumb, dick, dizzy bitches. Now I just think y'all are stupid, dumb, dick, dizzy, destitute, desperate, and just downright fucking degenerate. Mm. No, Mr. Troll. See, you're the one that's bitter. And let me tell y'all why I keep saying it tonight. Because, see, here's the thing. We got a lot of cloud-watching assholes that stay on this fucking channel. So let me tell y'all hoes something. And be sure to run tell this. Because if it's not the pigeons and their feathers getting on my fucking nerves, it's the goddamn chipmunk squawking. If it's not <laughs> them, it's the ducks quacking. It's always the goddamn ducks or the chipmunks or the goddamn pigeons, the birds. You always got something to goddamn say. And why can't you seem to get and keep the bitter taste out your fucking mouth? Okay, get it out and keep it out. Because when we start evaluating some of your lives versus ours on this panel, I think you will all will be pleasantly surprised that there are several happily married women over here and women looking way younger and a lot less older and with a lot more stability than the bitches half our ages because we just don't have half of y'all problems. Now put that in your pipe and smoke it since people are supposed to say only good things about the black community or black men or run the risk of being labeled by you as if y'all are in any positions to be calling anyone any names and see we've already been through that mammy ass gaslighting tactic where you think you can silence people from speaking the truth by just referring to them as bitter or angry or hateful every time they say something that you don't want to hear bitches get your life and stay the fuck off our channel. Please and thank you. 
Mm-hmm. Who would they steal from? Who would they steal from, Aaliyah? You know these bitches don't have a coherent thought between the 14 million of them versus the little old bitty few of us. Who would they steal from? Because I'm pretty sure those goddamn stats I just spit out earlier, they're gonna steal that. Congratulations, you gave them a brand new proverb to play, proverb to play with. Congratulations to Kyra for all her witty comebacks and Ebony for her information and Snapple with her timely snaps at motherfuckers. They gonna steal everything that we are. They're gonna water it down and seek to niggify, not gentrify, because they got to bring it lower. Remember, we raised the vibration over here. And then they're going to say, well, I believe this knowing goddamn well, bitch, you don't have four brain cells to rub together. And if you do, 3.5 of them are located in the twat between your legs, because that's what the fuck been leading you. Can I ask no, you a question? Just, go, go right ahead. My bad. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I just, it, that shit just irritates me to no end. There is not one fucking live stream that none of these bitches doing where it ain't some type of shade or some type of dagger being thrown over here. And like I said, bitch, I'm the shade detector. I can catch it. I can catch it before you even goddamn throw it. But the thing is, our shade is undefeated. It always have. Matter of fact, we don't even throw shade. Most of the time, sure everything don't. we say up here, y'all know exactly who the fuck we be talking about. I just like to play dumb. Because y'all hear these live streams. Just like we hear these live streams. And I know y'all hear these bitches dissing. And I would like to give some of y'all kudos, though. Because I see y'all saying a lot of this fake shit and this fuck shit that we saying. And more and more, y'all calling this shit out when you see it and when you hear it. Because you know it exactly Exactly where you heard that shit from first, and you know them bitches repeating our shit verbatim. Shit stances they ain't never even had before, but then we'll turn around and try to diss the same people you just swagger jacked all they shit. Where they do that at? It's Y'all, can I jump? Community, yes, ma'am. Go right. Let ahead. me jump in. I, I don't, I don't give a fuck about these these bitches. I don't even know who we talking about right now, but fuck these hoes. I wanted to talk about the clip. Um, this is why y'all need to divest from mammies as well. And I know I've said this a few times before, and I think that is one of the major players that separates us from the diet divesters because we're not just going to focus on the Kangs. We got to get these nigga bitches too. You got this nigga bitch up here who put a hit out and got somebody unalive. That is just so evil and fucked up for her to do. And this is the treacherousness of these bitches. They will do it for less. They will do it because they're jealous of you, like they did with Shanquella. They will do it because you just have a natural aura. You don't even have to have done anything. You don't even have to have have accomplished anything. You could just be lighthearted and carefree, and bitches will be mad and start plotting on you. So that's why you need to divest from all these bitches, from the them in their thuns, divest, 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 because these bitches are fucking miserable, jealous, and evil. And okay. I hope this bitch rots. I hope she does too. I don't do nigga bitches. I really don't. Because I know, I, I grew up around them. Watch y'all stab each other in the back right over these very men that are sitting up here telling motherfuckers that they can't stand you. You want to talk about fresh and fit? You want to talk about that tea or should I leave that for discord? Because y'all, these people, I'm going to tell you something. Y'all better be careful who y'all listening to and taking seriously, okay? I'm serious. These people are going to get you fucked up, okay? I didn't come up here to talk about that situation what so goddamn ever. What I do want to ask y'all, though, is this question. Where is all of this outrage? Because y'all remember Daniel Holesclaw. I got three niggas up here that's our wording their victims, right, who they were supposed to be helping with DV situations, theft situations, and shit like that. A lot of black police officers are really snatching y'all coochie, and it's all silence. But when Daniel Holesclaw was over there doing that awful shit that he was doing, guess what? Y'all talked about that shit for months. Where is the same outrage because these black men are law enforcement as well? Oh, that's right. You have to protect them because guess what? It's exposing who they are. These are the unicorns that y'all claim are out here and they turn it around and coming back after a woman got domestically assaulted and telling her, no, fuck that. I- I- I'm going to play the clip. I don't give a solid fuck. Where the fuck is this nigga at? Let's go.
Right, we need to get to this story here. Uh, some disturbing allegations against a former Indianapolis Metro Police probationary officer, Myron Howard, now charged with rape and official misconduct. He's accused of using his job to take advantage of a domestic violence survivor he was supposed to help. Fox 59's Max Lewis is digging into the court documents and spoke with the woman's attorney. Had my client not been bold enough to come forward and contact me, um, this, he could have continued his uh, reign of terror. Attorney Mark Nicholson represents the woman who says probationary officer Myron Howard raped her inside her own home. According to court filings unsealed today, Howard, along with other officers, had responded to the victim's home earlier this year on a domestic violence call and arrested the victim's boyfriend for hitting her. After the scene cleared, the victim says Howard came back to her home alone, telling her, quote, you know you could have went to jail too, but I didn't say anything, so I need you to do something for me. The victim told investigators he proceeded to rape her for the next 10 minutes. You don't expect a police officer, someone in law. I don't want to hear what this dusty motherfucker got to say either, I, because they all dusty to me. Go in his closet and see what's going on. He's sitting up here. Yeah, this is what I was trying to get to, right? These black women online will go ahead and throw a nigga like this in your face when they talking about not all, okay? You have no idea. And here's the thing, mammies, y'all know good and hell well that the if, if y'all can't even say the majority of them are bad because you hate other black women. That's why you won't say it. Since you've been through so much, you want other women to go through the same thing. And on top of that, you're protecting black men's image when you will not protect other black women's image. You're protecting your brother, your father, your cousins, and whatever other nigga you went to school with or what have you. Y'all were really outraged about Daniel Hole's Claw, and so was I. Where is the outrage with this shit here? Oh, that's right. You'll never see anything like that because the black community has a problem telling the truth. The truth is like kryptonite to these motherfuckers. I don't give a damn where you from. Baltimore, right? Detroit, New York, whatever. And y'all need to get the hell up out of New York. Y'all need to get the hell up out of New York. They just approved and I hope the governor go ahead and veto the shit. $2,600 for criminals that's getting out of jail. Turns out when you have a Democrat in office, crime does pay. Them niggas finna be flexing. Now, ladies, crime is getting ready to soar. It's getting Lisa, ready to soar in New York. Yes, ma'am. This is my problem when they say, well, white men do it too. Whenever we talk about these statistics, these dumb bitches don't understand that when you make up 13%, 60% is a really big fucking number. When you make up 13%, 55.7% is a really big fucking number. When you make up 13%, getting your ass beat and violated at six times the rate is a really fucking large number as proportionate to your goddamn place in the populace. I don't understand why y'all keep trying to move this goalpost. These niggas ain't shit. They weren't shit yesterday. They ain't gonna be shit tomorrow. And if you keep birthing them, them little motherfuckers ain't gonna be shit. This is why I can't take shit black women say seriously. All you whores can shut the fuck up talking to me because a bitch that don't understand how to break down statistical data can't say a motherfucking thing to me. A bitch that gets on the internet well white men do it too. But white men, if you look at their statistical data as proportion juxtaposed to their population, it is not nearly as high. Your men are the problem. I said it before, I say it again, and I know there was a bitch that got mad about you produce inferior males. You just do. So sew your pussy shut and shut the fuck up. Get your ass offline. Don't nobody want to hear the go hear you bitches go in this goddamn diatribe about how they learned all this <laughs> shit from white men. The, how is it they can never learn anything that is of any type of intellectual inherent value, like building, protecting, providing, and giving provision? But they can learn violence, degeneracy, and all sorts of debaucherous bullshit because that was already there. It was there. It's not an impulse. It's not something like they men talk still lying to themselves and everybody else. They can't be honest about it. One motherfucking problem that's plaguing the black community. They just want to talk shit about everybody else because they, again, they supposed to be the moral compass for every goddamn body else. They the victims of everything. They're the most oppressed. They can't be honest about the absentee fathers because they know these motherfuckers ain't speaking around to raise these kids. Speaking of fresh and fit, I know you don't want to get into that, but that's just part of I mean, let me know. I mean, come on now. We're going to pretend like we surprised like that shit ain't a thing. Oh, because you got a plethora of them, these motherfuckers sticking around to actually raise the children. Y'all know that shit ain't motherfucking true, but you got a black bitch that'll argue you the fuck down like that shit is the truth. And you know it ain't. You 
know these niggas ain't sticking around to raise these goddamn children. That's why I say you, that's why you can't take them seriously. Cause they know they are no shit true. And they still will sit up and lie to your goddamn face. Y'all know they ain't married. Y'all know they ain't doing right by these goddamn women in this community. They ain't doing right by no win, none of the women that they with. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. They don't want to tell the truth about shit. But Aaliyah, the issue is it's really black women's fault because if black women would stop wearing weave, then black males would stay and take care of their kids and they would clean up these. No, Kyra, they would do none of that. They would probably put on your wig and try to be more successful than you, as we've seen multiple times with multiple black comedians, because a lot of times they can't get popping unless they're emulating the worst qualities of black women, black womenhood. OK, so let's just be very fucking clear about that. Another thing that gets me is these are the same bitches that believe these motherfuckers are getting married. I believe it was the 2020 census in the United States that said roughly 72 percent of um, African-American men were not married, which means that was like exactly. whopping what 28% that were and of the 28% only 80% of them are married to black women and then that leaves a t statistical leftover of 20% of them being married to non black women but you want to know what they had inherently result in common the nigga wasn't shit when he was with a black woman and he most certainly wasn't shit when he was with this preference it doesn't matter where you put them it doesn't matter where you plant them they do not bloom and when they do they are fruit of a poisonous fucking tree and that bitches is how you break down statistical data check it ladies i hope y'all stay to the end because there are no unicorns they there are there aren't any can i ask y'all a question let me stop sharing my screen and ask y'all something were y'all around this past month when they was all celebrating these NASA headshots? I'm looking at my fucking chat. Were y'all around where these black folks was celebrating the NASA engineers because he had a dreadlock head? Were y'all here for that? Let me see. All right. Y'all said yes. Yes. NASA newly bloomed. Yes. It was a black guy who shared his headshot, right? Because he is a NASA engineer. Let me go ahead and share that with y'all. Okay. Let me uh, let me move this banner real quick. Because I need you to see his face. And I left her post up there on purpose. Because what? Because they were all happy about it. See? Black men can do this and that. Y'all always want to talk about the bad ones. Da -da -da -da. I get so happy when I see. And he got dreadlocks. Really? Is that that's what you're going with? Well. Word on the curb is there's a problem with this guy, and I got some receipts for you. Even your NASA engineers are dusty, bitch. Um, let me get my shit together because I'm tired of having to prove all. Let's go. Every time the camera come on, oh yeah, I just want to talk, baby. I just want to talk. I'll talk to you. And then you wonder why everybody feel how they feel. When it comes to you being aggressive and abusive towards me. What the fuck are you being, man? Are we gonna go there? This is what I deal with, guys. It's freaking ridiculous. I gotta even do this to make sure I'm protected and I'm safe. Well, if that's the case, then maybe we shouldn't be together then, right? Fine, Tyrone. Fine. Or is that. Tell him, tell him, no, 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 tell him. Tell him, no, 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 tell him, tell him. Tell him. I'm not telling nobody. If that, tell him, tell him. If that's what you're saying, that's what we will do. That way I can keep my life and my family's not paying $5,000 for me being a casket with black eyes and a broken neck from being strangled because you want to be aggressive. You're right. He said, you're right. Yes, that's him in that video. Even your NASA engineers are fucking abusive. So miss me with the bullshit. When you hear somebody talking shit about us and talking about what we must be, we're a bunch of CNAs, we're a bunch of bitter women that don't, you couldn't get a black man and all this shit here. I want you to remember I told y'all this. All of them are dusty and that includes your NASA engineers. I don't know how many times y'all have to get y'all bubble busted. You putting your neck out here on the line trying to prove, oh, there's one. There's one. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. Even if your daddy was decent to you, I want to talk to your mama. I bet you she got a different story. Pull up on me. But hey, today's Friday and I know it's all right. Hey, you know, you got the trifling bitches that's going to call. Well, my parents still married. Yeah, but it's a whole lot your mama hear from you, honey. I, to protect your daddy's image, I can guarantee you that. 
that part. That, okay. They never gave you the whole truth. They gave you the portion of the truth that they felt that you could handle while they took the brunt of his bullshit. It's all of them ladies. From the womb to the tomb. From I don't give a damn if they even are just a swiggle in their daddy's balls. It's all of them. It's never going to change. Save yourself. Ladies, our previous live stream that's behind the wall, behind the wall, we're getting ready to talk about um, Fresh and Fit because I, I, I need to get that out of the way just for my fence sitters. Also, uh, we need to get on this attention horn. Then after that, we get in the weekend popped off. Y'all ladies, please be safe. I mean that shit because they fucking y'all up out here. All right. I got some more shit on the social credit score coming, by the way. Hey, pull up on me. Y'all better be careful. I love y'all. Have a great weekend. Peace the fuck Bye. out. Good night, y'all. Good night.